Now to that water emergency in Dunkirk. New images tonight from the Topps supermarket show the bottled water, bottled water aisle rather empty as neighbors there are told they must boil and conserve water. The restrictions coming after a large water main break this morning happened on Lakeshore Drive near the Dunkirk Harbor and left people with either no water or low pressure. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Lilia Wood tonight on the urgent response and the help available. As you wake up and you say, I'm going to take a shower, I'm going to do my dishes, I'm going to brush my teeth, and you can't do anything of that. Kenya Cerullo of Dunkirk woke up this morning and realized she had no running water. I went to get some water out of the grocery shop, and everybody was there already waiting for them to open to get water. That's when she learned she's not the only Dunkirk resident without water. Yep, no water. My wife says, hey, how come we don't have any water? I said, what do you mean we don't have any water? Well, this morning we got up, take a shower, no water. Most of the city of Dunkirk and some surrounding areas are affected by this water main break on Lakeshore Drive East and Deer Street. The director of Public Works tells me everyone has neither no water or low pressure. It's one of our main arteries. Uh, it's more than 100 years old. He says they figured out a plan to fix it, but it takes time. This old system break. We're going to fix it. It's going to be better than new. Brooks TLC Hospital System says the water main break shut off their water, but the community is stepping in to help, with companies such as Colligan Water and Designer Pools donating water and porta potties. This presents issues uh, not only in the hospital, but all the businesses that have had to shut down because of the fact that the water pressure was so low. For anyone with water, the Chautauqua County Health Department is asking you to conserve your water and boil it before drinking. I would say in a state of emergency, and I want to get this rectified and fixed. Residents have been getting creative with ways to get water. Came down to the lake with a couple pails, we'll get a couple buckets full of water so you have enough to flush the toilets. and Go out and jump in the swimming pool. The mayor of Dunkirk tells me he expects the water to be back this evening. And we expect this issue, as far as the water operation goes, to be resolved by dinner time. City residents can pick up two cases of water here at 665 Brigham Road all the way until 7 o'clock tonight. Reporting in Dunkirk, Lilia Wood, 7 I Witness News. Now, water advisories have been common for people in Chautauqua County. Fredonia issued a water state of emergency just this past September. Neighbors in Mayville have had four advisories since August of last year, and Brockton, Brockton rather, Portland, and Lilydale have also been under water advisories at some point during the last 12 months. Now, just a few years ago, leaders hoped to address this issue with a massive clean water infrastructure project. The $30 million project included seven miles of pipes, a new water storage tank, and pump station. 